will uh, close the eyes through the opening process. Hands in Gyan Mudra, thumb tip and first fingertip together. Three long Omkar, each time breathe out, we're gonna chant Om. Face under the palms, hands. Open and close eyes behind the palms a few times. And slide the hands down, slowly open the eyes. Jesse Krishna, let's start with the light exercise. We'll quickly do the light exercise, try to cover all the joints, muscles, and alternate. So hands straight, palms 90 degree up, 90 degree down. Make a tight fist and release. And keep thumb inside and just press it. When you spread the fingers, just spread them out. And make a fist. Keeping thumb inside, make a fist and roll the fist forward. So keep the awareness on a wrist joint and whichever activity we do, just keep awareness whatever body part being utilized, joints, muscles, few times backward direction. Then palms sideways. Try to do in the same direction and then circle them. And few times reverse direction. Then swing the hands. <coughs> Do with the breath coordination, inhale. When elbows go up, exhale. When elbows go down. Also connect all the fingers on the shoulders, spread them apart when you bring them down. Every time when you no need to look at the screen, you can close the eyes except for the balancing poses when we stand up. So mostly you can just keep the eyes closed. Whenever you need to make sure any specific pose or something, then you open the eyes and 
With closed eye, you can enjoy each and every pose. You can keep awareness on the body part and couple times again forward. And hold all the fingers together or the shoulder and circle them around. Do with the breath coordination, inhale, then elbows go up. Exhale when you push them down, back and then down. When you bring them forward, make sure they're touching each other. Try to make the biggest circle you can. And two times reverse direction. And release. Take a couple of normal breath. Spread both hands sideways. And then turn the palms 90 degree upward. Keeping from shoulder to wrist completely straight. Just circle the hands around the shoulder. Keeping the shoulder in the center. Just push them back up, forward and down. Same distance. And few times reverse direction. <clears throat> and release. Interlock the fingers, place them over the forehead with breathe in, the press head and forehead against each other. Breathe out when you release, and then do from the back. Same thing, breathe in, press, breathe out, release. One more time, front, then back. Release the tension over neck and shoulder area. And a couple of times from both the sides. Bring the right hand at the back of the body, align the palm with the spine, and put the left palm behind the right knee. Exhale and turn backward. Turn towards the right and look back. Inhale, come back straight and the other side. Okay, one more time, both sides. Bring the chin to the chest. Sit completely straight, the trunk portion. Then bend the head, bring the chin at the chest. Inhale, start from the right side, go up. When you reach top, start exhaling and bring it towards left and down. So make another circle with breath coordination from right to left. Do slowly, steady. And observe if there is any discomfort, any pain in neck area. Then go towards the right with inhalation, oh, sorry, towards left, up, and bring it down from the right side.
like uh, look straight at the level of eyes. Shoulders, shoulder blade will remain straight, steady. Just turn the neck towards right, inhale. Align chin with the shoulder, right shoulder. And hold for a few seconds. Exhale, come back to center, inhale. Go towards left. See if you're able to align the chain with the left shoulder. Exhale, come back to center. Do one more time, right and left. So we are not doing this as a Brahma Mudra because in Brahma Mudra, we do exact similar way, but we do it very, very slow speed. It might take at least two minutes to make one circle. That's slow. That's Brahma Mudra. We're doing part of the stretches. So we're doing it a little bit normal speed. Now bring the one leg <clears throat> like half Padmasan, one leg. One, one foot on the other knee, just one, one side, but make sure it is a tri triangle. Both the lower leg gonna be aligned completely on top of each other and bring both palms forward and keep the head and trunk in one line, just slightly walk the hands forward as we lower the trunk. Just bend it from the lower back. Just keep on going. The whichever leg is up, that thigh area, you will get some kind of uh, stretches. Just keep on going down and hold the pressure as far as you can go down. Okay, slowly, very slowly. Walk the hands back and let the hand push the trunk up. You, you should not bring the trunk up. Let the hands bring it up and switch the leg. And walk the hands forward. Okay, come back. Okay, let's sit in pole pose, L shape. Bring both arms side of the body to keep the trunk vertical, keep the leg straight, squeeze toes and release a few times. See if you can squeeze all the toes. Then push them together forward and bring them back towards you. Inhale when you push, press them forward. Exhale when you bring them back. Do a few times together. Then alternate. One push, one pull. Keeping the heels together, toes together, circle the feet around the heels, utilizing the ankle joint and two times reverse direction. Okay. Hold one leg, interlock the fingers with the toes, bend slightly forward, try to keep trunk straight, push the knee down to the floor, exhale, bring it to the chain. 
inhale when you push pressure down and hold it for a second or two. You can use palm or the lower arm to bring the knee to the chin. Two more times on the same side. Then slowly switch the leg. <clears throat> Okay, next hold both the legs, interlock the fingers, place them over the toes. We'll do Titli Asan butterfly pose. First few times, you can just clap like the pullers. You can bring them all the way up and push them all the way down. And then you can speed up and try to push. The knees closer to the floor. That's increase, increase the blood circulation around hip and uh, pelvis region. It opens up the hip joint. Swing side by side and get closer to the heels. You can keep the heels where they are. You can just bring body forward, closer to the heels. We are doing Bhaddasan. Push both the knees down to the floor. Sit completely straight. Close the eyes. Spine vertical. <clears throat> You can deep breathe in into lower abdomen and you can hold the breath for two seconds each time. When you hold the breath, you can feel the extra strength into the pelvis area. You need to maintain the pressure for the knees towards the floor in order to feel the good stretches. And one more time, deep breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. And roll side by side, bring the body a little bit back, make a space between heel and the bottom of the body. Hold the toes separately. We're doing Bhadda Konasan. Next. Inhale, look up. Exhale, keeping the head and trunk in one line. Just bring the trunk forward and bend it from the lower back. When you can no longer bend down, that point you can drop the head. So the forehead will be somewhere on the midpoint of the feet. Inhale, come back up. We'll do one more time. A little bit longer duration, more effectively. And use elbows to push the lower leg inward in order to bring the trunk forward.
Okay, inhale, come back up. The sit in cross leg posture. If you're able to do Padmasan, that will be great. Otherwise, any other cross leg posture, any other cross leg variation should be fine. Siddhasan, Swastikasan. Let's sit straight. Start inhalation, bring both palms together in front of chest, Pranam Mudra, while inhale. Exhale here. Inhale again, bring both palms over the head. And rest there, exhale. And deeply inhale, straighten both the hands up, push both the palms together towards the ceiling. Both hands fully straight upward, trunk is straight. Parvatasan, mountain pose. Start bringing palms down to the head while exhale. Continue exhalation. Bring the palms to Pranamudra and all the way down. You can do with closed eyes. You can keep mentally, mentally visualize your body and keep awareness on all the movements. Let's do with the closed eyes two more times with breath coordination, your own pace. Next, we'll do Bhastrika Pranayam. Keep hands in uh, Dhyan Mudra, first fingertip and thumb tip together. Deeply inhale, deeply exhale. Keep the spine erect, shoulders completely relaxed. You can close the eyes. You can keep awareness at the breathing. When breath enters and exit at the nostril, first point in the nose, can feel the sensation, but keep full awareness all the time at the same point. Make sure deeply breathe in, deeply breathe out.
Okay. In Excel and breathe normal. Next, we'll do Surya Nadi Pranayama, right, right channel only, right and right. Keep hands in Vishnu Mudra, roll first two finger into root of thumb. And we can use the ring fingertip to block the left nostril. Keep the hands sideways, shoulder level. Deeply inhale from right, deeply exhale from right. And other hands can be in Dhyan Mudra. You can again keep the eyes closed and keep awareness on breathing. Complete the cycle when you breathe out from right. Next, we'll do Kapal Bhati Pranayama. We'll keep hands in Apan Vayu Mudra. So we're going to first roll the first finger into root of thumb. That's the Vayu Mudra. And next, the next two fingers will connect with the thumb tip. So those three tips together, and first fingertip will roll into root of thumb. Apan Vayu Mudra. We'll deeply inhale once, inhale into lower abdomen, and then exhale into multiple exhalation forcefully. Then again, deeply inhale, and then exhale into multiple exhalation. Complete the cycle when you breathe out fully. Next, we'll do variation of Bastrika Pranayam. We'll make a fist, the shoulder level. 
<clears throat> Inhale, straighten the hands up, open the fist, exhale forcefully. Make a fist, bring it down. Inhale up, exhale down. Okay, complete, conclude. Let's spread both the legs apart. Make sure the knees straight. Inhale, raise hands up. Exhale, bend it from the lower back. Bend forward, see if you can hold the big toes. Inhale, raise both hands again. Look up. Exhale, fully. Push a little harder. See if you can grab the feet. And hold the pressure. You can inhale, exhale here, keeping the knees straight. Inhale, come back up. Okay. Just keep the right hand up. Inhale, exhale. Grab the left toe, left, left, big toe. Exhale and inhale, raise the left hand up. Fingers point to corner of the ceiling and look through the fingers. Come back and the other side. Inhale, raise the left hand up. Exhale, grab the left, the, um, the right toe with the left hand. Inhale, raise the right hand up and look through the right hand fingers. One more time each side. Turn the shoulder blade to perpendicular towards left leg. Raise both hands up. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bend from the lower back, bend forward. And grab the left foot equally using the, both the hands. See if you can bring forehead or chin closer to the left knee. Inhale, come back up and turn towards other side, the towards right leg. Inhale, deeply look up. Exhale, bring both hands down over to the right leg, right foot. Push the head toward the right knee and hold the pressure. <clears throat> Inhale, come back up. Again, second time, longer duration for on the other side, towards left. You can exhale. Inhale while in a pose. 
but this time Excel tried to push head further closer to the knee. And make sure knees remain straight. You can even bend the elbows in order to go further down. Inhale, come back up. And same for the other side, towards right. Inhale, come back up. <coughs> Do Chakki Chalanasan. Interlock the fingers, bring both palms together. Start the, from the one side to the other. So the palms gonna travel over the toes and then knee. Try to keep hands straight. You can exhale when you bend forward. You can inhale when you go back. You can keep the eyes closed. Make four to five circles in each direction. With closed eyes, you can keep awareness on each of the movements and also focus the pelvis area, hip joint, and feel how you get stretched, move from one side to other side as we rotate. Engage the mind fully with all the movements. Once we complete, bring both legs together, not completely together, just keep probably a couple of feet away. Bring both the palms on one side and whichever side you bring palm towards, lay down the toes, the feet on that side, on same direction and exhale and, and twist back. Come back and the other side. Now let the toes fall on the floor, same direction on the other side. You will feel great twist at the lower back. And come back straight. Now both bring both the legs together, completely together. Let's do um, Purva Uttanasana. And if you cannot do the reverse plank fully, just keep pushing both the toes forward. Hold both the hands, bring elbows to the floor, push the lower back up and drop the head at the back. If you are able to do Purva Uttanasana fully, then Place both the palms at the back of the body. Raise the trunk up completely. Push the toes down to the floor. And make sure knees don't go too far, <coughs> don't go too far away from each other. Try to keep the knees as close as possible. Toes and heels on the floor. Drop the head back. 
while keep pushing the whole trunk upward. Then very slowly bring the trunk, the body back to the floor. Next we'll do complementary pose to it is forward bending. Keep both legs together. Inhale, look up, raise both hands up. Exhale and bend forward. With both the hands, see if you can grab the toes or if you can grab the feet. Inhale, come back up. We can fold our leg a little bit. We can try to bring our, the knee closer to the chest. We can grab the song on both sides and slide the head of the leg forward. Try to keep knee as close to the chest. Keep pushing the head down, straighten the leg. Okay, inhale, come back up. Paschimuttanasan. Okay, since several session we didn't do one specific pose, let's uh, try that today. Um, bring the left hand forward. Grab the left top. Just keep it holding and fold the right leg with the right hand. Hold it at the ankle joint and bring the leg, bring the right foot at the ear. Akarana Dhanurasan. And you can hold there as long as you can. And slowly switch to the other side. When you bring the foot, to the ear, make sure it, it just goes on the same side. So if I'm bringing left foot, so it's gonna be at the left ear. Okay, slowly the other side. Karuna Dhanurasan. Yeah, I wasn't able to see how many actually did it while I was in a boat. So, okay, we'll do easy, easy one next. Gomukhasan. Hold both the legs, <clears throat> bring heels as close as possible. Touching the body, don't sit on the heels. Both knees very close to each other and align. Whichever knee is up, raise the hand on that side. Bring it back from the top. The other hand will go around. And interlock the fingers. Once you get the fingers, the palms connected, then make sure you correct the trunk, neck should be straight, vertical, look up at the level of eyes. At this point you can close eyes and you can visualize the image. Because so many body parts, joints utilized in this pose. And you might hear some kind of sensation at each of the place. So you can just quickly scan through that. 
and very slowly come out of the pose and switch to the other side. And very slowly come out of the pole. Let's sit in a diamond pose or Vajrasan. Sit on a hills. If you are able to. <clears throat> Just straighten the one leg out and remain on the one heel. So one leg is, is not straight forward, it is cross, just going away from the body. You can keep both the palms closer to the knee, which is bent, and try to maintain the weight 50 50 if you can. So lean towards the leg, which is straight slightly. And you can let the palms go off. So our body weight will be 50%. Or also over here, we can just go on the toes. On, on the, whichever knee is bent, that side leg, we can go on the toes. We can just rest on the heel. So we can bring 50-50 weight on the right heel and the left toes. Switch the leg. And just, even you can put more pressure towards the leg, the straight leg. Okay. Back to Vajrasan. To Mandukasan. Extend both hands forward. Make tight fist. Deeply inhale. Hold the breath in lower abdomen. Place the fist on the navel. Forcefully exhale and bend forward. Don't leave the heels. Bend forward, bring forehead all the way down to the floor. And then raise the head a little bit up. I meant to say tilt. So you just push the head down and then tilt slightly upward. One more time, come back up more effectively. Okay, we have come back up. We go on both the knees. Keep the knees and feet separated at the same distance as the shoulder width. Bring both palms at the back of the hip joint, fingers pointing down, look up, bend downward, look backward, try pushing both the elbows closer to each other, keep pushing the pelvis area forward, and keep bending the trunk further downward and drop the head and hold all the four pressure. Okay. 
very slowly straighten the trunk, come back up. We'll sit in Vajrasan, bring both palms, middle of the knee. Keep the trunk and head in one line. Just walk the hands forward and automatically let the trunk go down closer to the floor. And bring the forehead or chin all the way to the floor. And relax the lower back at that point. Okay, walk the hands back closer to the body. That will push the trunk up back to Vadrasana. Again, next we'll do full camel pose. Make sure the knees and the feet separated. <clears throat> Inhale, raise the one hand up. Exhale, bring it down toward the same side, rest on the heels, same side. Inhale again and raise the other hand up in the air. Exhale, bring it down to the other heel. So both palms rest here on corresponding heels. Drop the head backward. Push the pelvis area forward. And hold the pose. Keep pushing the pelvis forward and dropping the head back. Stay in a pose. Very slowly, one hand at a time. Same way we got in a pose, same way we get out of the pose. Very slowly straighten the trunk up. <clears throat> Bring both palms on the side of the body and sit on the heels. Drop the head back down to the floor, forehead on the floor, palm facing up very close to the feet. Okay, now come back up. We're going to Supta Vajrasan. So if you cannot do Supta Vajrasan fully, you can just bend backward, hold the elbows and you can rest elbows on the floor. Drop the head back and relax the lower back and stay in a pose. Others, if you are able to do the Vadrasan, Sukta Vadrasan fully, slide the hands forward, rest the body, completely lay down on the floor, the whole back and the back of the head, completely rest there on the floor. You can bring the palms up, you can place them over the thigh. You can close the eyes, you can scan the body quickly just to see which body part, which joint try to communicate, try to tell you. Some parts maybe try to tell you to come out of the pose. Some place you might listen that, okay, you're feeling good, just stay. Listen to your body. And hold both the ankles, push the elbows down to the floor and push the body back up to the Vadrasana. I think um, Gaya Shashan Mahaprakek Vatkarta da were talking about some the body infrastructure kind of thing, like 
the, the ways and energy channels and those kind of things. We talk about Vedas and Purans, Upanishads, all those things, right? So we have actually 72,000 energy channels in our body. Uh, we call it Nadi, 72,000. But out of those, only three are the main. Again, Dhori Mark, National Highway. Those three main ones are right channel, Ida Nadi, or we, we can call Surya Nadi. Left one is Pingala Nadi, that is Chandra Nadi. This is Chandra Nadi is for pulling down. Surya Nadi is a little bit, you no, know, it's just Chandra heat and like that. And the middle one, Susumna Nadi, middle one. So those three are like, uh, we can call it as a, the big national highway for the body. And there are so many other small, tiny energy channels all over the place. So total are 72,000. Same way, chakras like we have 114, 114, 114 chakras. But out of them, seven are the main ones. Right? Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipura, that's right at the navel. And uh, heart chakra, call it Anahata. Then throat chakra, also Sanskrit call it Vishuddhi chakra. And third eye, Ag Agna, uh, Ajana. And Sahasthara chakra at the top. Those seven chakras are the main energy chakras. That's where all the nadis and channels and energies flow, uh, flow through and manage actually. Baki, Baki uh, 107 chakras, those are like, you know, Gram Panchay, Taluka Panchay, Zilla Panchay, like small, small, different, small function, but it has similar function, but those seven are main. Okay, then uh, we're talking about the body layers. Uh, we did last Saturday, but not last session. Those five main body layers, or we can call it pancha kosha. And we call it kosha, or we call it somewhere it's called the five bodies. So those are the one is physical body that's made out of the food, what we eat. That's why it's called annamaya kosha. Second one is pranamaya kosha. That's another layer of the body. Pranamaya kosha. That's a chetana, urja, whatever we have. Then um Manomaya, Manomaya Kosha, Manomaya body, then Vignan Maya, and the last one, the most important, Anand Maya. So those are the five bodies, five layers of the body, or Panch Kosha. Then we talk about Tridosha, Vat, Pit, Kaf. Then all of the issues, that's, um, it depends on how imbalance we go on those three. And we didn't talk in last session about those five basic elements. Uh, Panch Mahabhut. Actually, those five fingers also represents those five elements that say that the whole Srusti, the whole Brahman made out of those five basic elements. So, um, fire, vayu, space, earth, and water. Right, those five fingers represent their thumb, the fire, and the first finger, index finger, the vayu, and middle finger space, and then the anamika is uh, earth, and little finger, water. So, Kali example of Ekke Be, Aprake Ekke, Vayu Mudra, so that's why you know, we, we just do roll first finger into root of thumb. Why? Because that subdues. Vayu. If we have excess vata or vata related disease, any disorders, this will be cured. So that's why we put a roll into root of thumb. And whenever we need to fire up some um, agni, that we call um, dhyan mudra. That point we put fire and vayu, those tip together. So this will be fire up. So those are just simple examples. There are so many ways. I'm just saying that how the fingers and mudras, how they work together is basically because those are, um, they represent the elements and that's how all the mudras and the things are. Okay, so those are um, the elements. Another thing is 
I was talking about, it's been five minutes already I started talking. Um, they're talking about the demos, like how the board gave all the manuals, right? Maintenance manuals and all of these things God provided us. But top of that, I did mention that quickly, that God also gave us live demo. How? You know, we have like big companies, we, because, you know, Orlando, Las Vegas, they hold a big expo, then they give out uh, live demos. They could be on one single incident related thing, or it could be the full life cycle demo. It depends on how the company wanted to present. Here, what, what they did is, they made some avatars. If we can say that Krishna avatar, right? Rama avatar, full life cycle demo from birth to the end, how to live. So if you don't look at those uh, documents, if we just, just learn how they live, that's also a kind of full life cycle demo. But there are some, so many other demos also God gave us, um, incident basis. So, so how many, how many total demos? I shouldn't say demos, but how many avatars total? Did anybody know? Bhagwan na avatar ketla thegya. Just, just unmute and just give the name. Uh, just give the count. I think I see. Das, das avatar. Yes, and I see somebody raise all, all the ten fingers too. Das avatar. Can you name them from in a sequence? Yes. Yes, Ramesh Bhai. Ah, um, starting from uh, that sequence, Magal Pachatai, Varahautar, Matsyautar, Vamanautar, uh, Narsiautar, Parshuram, Parshuram Autar, uh, Krishna Autar, Rama Autar, Buddha Autar, and Kalki. Get la Gita, okay? Get Gita. Kurma, Kurma. Kurma, 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 yes. Yes, yes, great. So uh, the point was that there are thus thus outar thegya. Ye thus outar ma amuk amuk declare ki apne naus narse outar hoye the that was thus the incident base only one function why right one function demo while others we can say is like full life cycle. So ane Krishna outar no apne jo the ne to baat thay mandhe the best the best one right solar solar kalan. Abey. Most important thing in a, in a way to keep you, you can't was to in a main use to open a seat happy. The Jared Javas to Kartawe, there is was to Kerwa. And just fully am the Jared Jared Gayo Tarawa and it is there in a elective deadly must if I get the full Kerwa Jarene, Maturanuke, Gopurnuke, Darkanuke, and a Bizuke Jensen and not to Bagal the Nantas and Kaitne. Age Carvano, Pachi Jare, Quine, Heran Carvano, a Gopio Nato, but the eat fully, Pachi Jare, and a Matura, Kansina, Maira, up yeah, right? And he was there, he had a chance to become Matura Dipati. Correct? But he chose to become Matura Dipati, not Matura Dipati. So when a Matura Dipati postnet Hoker Mari Raja Banuano Tansato, when a Kiduk and a Mara Tere Banuano Rams, a web to an Anana and Hopi. Jail Mati Mukta Kira can see Buddha and a Gadi Apin and a Kaka. He just wanted to become Madura Dipati, right? That's why he became. So, uh, in a Panamana Kitu Mahatu, I put Kerajani post in a Jatikari and a Enekit of Ne, Avamare, Panama, there was a Kanki and a cover to connect their chapter Ravana the Mota. Emma and a Batavano to Kenny Guru Bakti and a Batavano to Mitra Bakti. So, I had Raja Bani in Matara Marigia. So, Peli Bidi was to Jepramana Loko and Batavani, Banwani in the Ebadi was to Ebadi cover another, right? Like Kavana Matabke, E was to a Banwan with Lubu important at Guene. So, let's conclude the talk at this point. It was, wow, it was 10 minutes already. Let's stand up. Keep the feet few inches away. Inhale, raise both hands up and go on the toes. You can interlock the fingers, bring palms upside down.
તડાસન તાડાસન સ્ટ્રેચ અપ પુશ પામ જીવન ટોવર્ડ ધ સીલિંગ slowly bring the hands down back to few feet away raise both hands up inhale and stretch up first exhale and bend on one side keep the knees and elbows straight don't let them bend inhale come back up while in a pose you can inhale exhale but coordinate with breath such a way that when we start going down we should exhale when we come up we should inhale to one more time just wanted to make sure we are not twisting our body towards the leg and then bending we are just keeping our body straight looking forward and then we are bending means we are bending sideways because first i see somebody was bent so nicely then i thought wow then i realized that probably she bent um forward she twist the body and then she bent so completing the second side or second time and come back now spread even leg even further all the way as far as they can go and we'll do kati chakrasan waist rotation keep both palms at the waist if you turning towards right side first make sure you keep pushing uh the right palm towards up don't let that side go back just with twisting waist and above exhale and turn back so what i meant is we are holding the pelvis remain forward and we just twisting the upper body towards back come back and other side Okay, one more time, each side. Okay, now hold the right foot outward and hold the right leg bring the right hand the right palm down inhale raise the other hand up and exhale bring it down over the head and look up try to push the waist as low as possible so the leg and trunk will make one straight line hand you can even bring it further down if you are able to otherwise you can keep in the same line with the leg and trunk okay very slowly come back up and switch to the other side and try to look up okay come back up we'll do 
Surya Namaskar. But before that, um, let's do um, Paschim Namaskar. Push both palms all the way up. Spread the legs far apart, keeping the knees straight. Turn towards one leg and then bend forward. See if you can bring forehead or chin closer to the knee, keeping the hands at the back in Paschim Namaskar and try to push elbows a little closer to each other. Come back up and the other side. Okay. Now release the hands, interlock the finger at the back of the body, palms together, and try to make, sit, uh, if you bring elbows uh, closer to each other at the back of the body, inhale, bend forward, and raise both hands away from the body and trunk, let it be loose, completely hanging. Come back up, inhale, and bend backward. When you bend, you can, you can hold both palms at the back, at the hip joint, And you can bend backward and come back up. So move on, on the front of the mat. We're going to do three Surya Namaskar. Leg closer to each other.
Malasan, feet flat on the floor. Maybe you can keep the heels closer and toes probably outward. If you have difficulty sitting in this posture, it might be a little bit comfortable. Okay, inhale, back up. Let's do Gorakshasan. Probably several session we didn't get chance to do this. Gorakshasan. Keep the soles together. And sit on the heels. Try to keep trunk vertical, so the, wheel, uh, the heels should have vertical load. If the load coming from the angle, you guys know that it doesn't need to be engineered to know that. And you can do Pram Mudra, Dhyan Mudra, or any Mudra, or try if you can close the eyes you're probably going to get out of the pose quickly. Without touching the floor from this posture, let's get up. Another balancing pose, will pose, I mean, um, tree pose. 
just lock the one leg completely. Then raise both the hands up. Look at the still point in front of you. I don't know, some, some people may gain ability, not everybody, to just do this too. You can go this, so you can keep the, keep the lock a little bit better and you can master in a pose when you start jumping on a one, one leg. And switch to the other side. Okay, so let's lay down on a stomach. You can extend both the hands forward, stretch out the toes, full stretch. Then inhale and raise hands, chest, chin up, and raise both legs up, flying pose. Okay, bring both hands back, hold both hands, lay down in a makarasan. That's a relaxing pose. You can bring the head, side of the head on the folded hand, close the eyes. Hold both the legs. And, reach and cross the hands, reach out across the right hand, grab the left ankle, left hand grab the right ankle. And then inhale, bring the chest in head up and pull both the legs up. The variation of Bopo Dhanurasan. and hold it up, pull further, 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 even further, look up, and very slowly bring the leg back, head back, down to the floor, back to Makarasan, and with closed eyes, listen to the body parts, see how you feel, Next, we'll bring both the palms, side of the body, legs together, toes, toes spread out. Just lift the right leg up. 
keep the knee straight, toes straight out. Both palms on the floor to support the body, chin on the floor. Just keep the right leg up, hold it, and slowly bring it back. Couple of breath in out, normal. And with breath in, just raise the left leg up, keep the toes straight out, knee straight, hold it up. All the way up as much as you can. Slowly bring it down and couple of breaths. Now make a fist. Place the fist under the thighs and raise both legs up at the same time. Try to keep knees straight, toes straight out. This is Purana Shalabhasana that we rarely do it in our session. Purana Shalabhasana. We always do Ardha Shalabhasana. And hold it there, hold it. Very slowly bring it down. Let's turn around, lay down on the back. And rest in a shavasana, both hands away from the body, both legs apart, toes pointing outward, palms facing up, fingers semi close, with closed eyes, you just let the whole body relax. This posture called Shavasana. So we probably do it in between the poses or also during yoga nidra, we lay down in this pose. Bring both legs together. Hold the legs. Bring the knee towards the chest and hold both the hands. Just at the knee, under the knee and grab the elbows on both sides, exhale, and try to bring knees to the head, to the face. Open Muktasan, okay, release. Keep both legs folded, feet on the floor, closer to the back. Spread both hands sideways, perpendicular to the body. Now hold, I mean, uh, drop the knees, both knees together on one side on the floor and twist toward other side. So you're looking on the palm on the other side. So give a good twist at the middle trunk. Slowly raise the knees up and drop them onto the other side. And look the opposite side of the knee. This is simple variation of Markatasana. Okay, come back, straighten both the legs, and let's rest in Shavasana about five to 10 seconds. 10 seconds would be better.
bring both legs together, both palms facing down, closer to the body. First inhale, then exhale, and get back up, and slide both palms forward. Inhale, raise the hands from the top, and lay down on the floor, bring the palms again forward on the floor. Exhale, then forward. So we do two more times. And when you bend, you can go further as further as you can. Okay, take few breath in and out. Then we're gonna be doing similar but reverse direction. So that means when we go up, our hands also go up with us. A little bit, little bit different than the before you will experience it. And let's do it. Raise both the hands, go up, bring the palms down. Inhale while going back to the floor, slide down the palm at the back. Exhale, come back up. And two more rounds. Keeping both legs together, completely aligned. Okay, and rest in Shavasana, as I explained earlier. Just let the whole body relax, close the eyes, and just keep awareness on various body parts when you have some kind of sensation of relaxation. Okay, now bring both legs together. Raise legs 30 degree over the ground and trunk 30 degree as well. Raise both hands up such a way that you look the toenail through the fingernails. Elbow straight, knee straight, trunk and legs both equal angle at the floor. So now cousin, board board. Very slowly bring the legs and trunk back to the floor. And lay down in Shavasana. Next we'll do Uttan Padasan, that can be done by anybody. There is no restriction doing Uttan Padasan. Bring both palms facing down, very close to the body to support the body, both legs together. Bring them up 90 degrees. This is Uttan Padasan. If you want to do from here, if you're able to do Sarvangasan, you can go ahead and do Halasan and couple other variations in the Halasan pole, like Tarnapidasan, or you can just stay in Uttan Padasan. After half minute, we're gonna start lowering the leg inch by inch, going down to the floor. Okay, start lowering 
down the leg. And if you already did or doing halasan, wrap up the pose in another half minute. With this one, just start lowering the leg inch by inch. And last few inches are really critical. Don't let the legs drop, no crash landing. Completely rested and feel full relaxation on the legs. Close the eye and you will notice that you will have very pleasant full relaxation on both the legs. Rest in Shavasan. In about a minute or so, we're going to start Yoga Nidra. So I will request people to do either uh, Machyasan. Anybody can do Machyasan. There is no restriction either. Or if you are able to do will pose, and if you like to do will pose, go ahead and do that. Meantime, I will select the Yoga Nidra audio. And you can just do one of these two poses after you after you rested about at least 10 seconds from the previous poses and either do machyasan or will pose. If you want to turn the lights down or turn off completely, you want to cover yourself. Just in the next 20 seconds, get ready. बॉडी को बिल्कुल सीधा रखना है शरीर बिल्कुल सीधा रहे दोनों पैरों के बीच बिल्कुल नॉर्मल डिस्टेंस रखे एक फुट या डेढ़ फीट का अंतर दोनों हाथ दोनों साइड में रखें और हथेलियां खुली हुई ऊपर की ओर और, और बड़े आराम से लेटें शरीर की सारी जो बेकार की हिलचाल हो अगर तो उसे समाप्त कर दें और शरीर को परफेक्टली सेट कर लें अब एक गहरी सांस लें और उसे छोड़ते हुए धीरे से अपनी आंखें बंद करें अपना ध्यान सांस के चलने पर रखें बिल्कुल स्वाभाविक रूप से सांस चलेगी आपका ध्यान सांस के चलने पर है जब आप सांस ले रहे हैं और जब सांस बाहर निकल रही है उस वक्त पेट चेस्ट और कंधों में जो मूवमेंट्स हो रहे हैं उनका अनुभव करें बाहर निकलने वाली हर सांस के साथ आपका शरीर धीरे धीरे शिथिल और शांत होता जा रहा है अब मैं जिस अंग का जिस हिस्से का नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएं। मैं जिस अंग का नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएं। दाएं पैर का तलवा दाएं पैर का पंजा उंगलिया अंगूठा 
दाए पैर की पिंडली घुटना और घुटने से लेकर कमर तक आपका ध्यान पूरे दाएं पैर पर रखें अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो अपने दाएं पैर में भरपूर आराम पाएंगे दाएं पैर में जो आराम महसूस हो रहा है उसका अनुभव करें पूरे पैर में आराम है मानो पूरा पैर नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान बाएं पैर के तलवे पर ले जाएं बाएं पैर का तलवा पंजा उंगलिया अंगूठा बाएं पैर की पिंडरी घुटना और घुटने से लेकर कमर तक पूरा बाया पैर इस वक्त आपके ध्यान में है आप अपने पूरे बाएं पैर का अनुभव कर रहे हैं अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि पूरे बाएं पैर में आराम है पूरे पैर में आराम गहरा आराम और पूरा पैर नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान एक साथ दोनों पैरों पर ले जाएं, दोनों पैरों का एक साथ अनुभव दोनों पैर गहरे आराम में हैं। अनुभव करें दोनों पैर निद्रा का मनो अनुभव कर रहे हों अब मैं जिस हिस्से का नाम लूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएंगे कमर हिप्स पेट सीना पीठ हर जगह पे ध्यान ले जाए कमर हिप्स पेट सीना पीठ और अब एक गहरी सांस लेकर जब आप छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि ये हर जगह पे गहरा आराम है गहरा आराम अब अपना ध्यान अपने दाएं हाथ पर ले जाएं, कंधे से लेकर उंगलियों तक पूरा दाया हाथ जाने के दाए हाथ में क्या हो रहा है अनुभव करें और एक गहरी सांस लेकर के जैसे ही छोड़ेंगे आप तो पूरे हाथ में आराम पाएंगे अनुभव करें दाएं हाथ में गहरा आराम है मनु पूरा हाथ नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान बाएं हाथ की ओर ले जाएं और बाएं हाथ का अनुभव करें कंधे से लेकर उंगलियों तक पूरा बाया हाथ जाने की वहां पर क्या हो रहा है और अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि पूरा बाया हाथ गहरे आराम में है निद्रा में है अब एक साथ दोनों हाथों का अनुभव करें दोनों हाथ एक साथ एक गहरी सांस लेकर के छोड़े और दोनों हाथों में आराम पाए गहरा आराम
अब जिस अंग का मैं नाम कहूँगा आप अपना ध्यान वहाँ पर ले जाएंगे गर्दन जबड़े गाल होठ नाक आँखें कान कपाल सिर का ऊपर हिस्सा जाने के वहाँ पर क्या हो रहा है गर्दन जबड़े गाल होठ नाक आँखें कान कपाल सिर का ऊपर हिस्सा एक गहरी सांस लेकर के छोड़ेंगे ये सब गहरे आराम में चला जाएगा अनुभव करें फिर से एक गहरी सांस लें और उसको छोड़ते हुए पूरे शरीर का एक साथ अनुभव करें पूरा शरीर गहरे आराम में है गहरी नींद पूरा शरीर गहरी नींद की अवस्था में है मगर आप जागरूक है इस वक्त यू आर कॉन्शियस आप अलर्ट हैं और इस शरीर की पूरे शरीर के कण कण की गहरी नींद के साक्षी बने हुए हैं अनुभव करें पूरे शरीर में कण कण में जो गहरे आराम का अनुभव हो रहा है उस अनुभव में रहें अब मैं एक से पांच की गिनती करूंगा जब पांच कहूंगा आप धीरे से आंखें खोलेंगे स्वस्थ होंगे फ्रेश और तरोताजा होंगे अब मैं एक से पांच की गिनती करूंगा जब मैं पांच कहूंगा आप धीरे से आंखें खोलेंगे स्वस्थ होंगे फ्रेश तरोताजा होंगे एक दो तीन पांच की गिनती पर आप आंखें खोलेंगे फ्रेश होंगे स्वस्थ होंगे चार पांच धीरे से आंखें खोलें धीरे से अपनी आंखें खोलें नमस्कार Place the warm hands over the eyes and face. Few times, open and close eyes under the palms. Slide the hands all over the face. Slide them down. Slowly open the eyes and turn the body towards right side and stay there eight to ten seconds. And keep head on the right hand. both leg straight left hand can be rested on the leg then very slowly with help of the both the hands arms bring the body back to sitting posture Okay, so we managed to have, we still have like nine, ten minutes after yoga nidra, after long time. Good job, guys. And our teacher, Gajendra, that means we have to do all the things we have to do. Saru, thank you. Great. So, Saru, that day, fresh, he got. Who? Three, three seconds. How is it? Our ten minutes in under some discussion. Can you do detail on it, Javanu? दस खाली दस खाली द बुलेट पॉइंट्स खाली सिंगल सिंगल वर्ड है कि आपने आपने द त्रिशल सेकंड के अंदर कि आपने ये दस मिनट में कई 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 वस्तु कवर थे कि कैन कैन एनीबडी रिमेम्बर आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग मेमोरी
Nobody remember? Nadis, chakras, five elements, Mulbut elements, Pansu Tattu Apra Kaya, right? Pachi Tri Dosha Aiva, Dosh Avatar Aiva. Zukai Bakir you? Layer of the body. Yes, Krishna, Krishna. Pachi, Atran means Surya, Chandra and Middlewadi. you can sit in cross leg posture or uh, padmasan any any comfortable pose should be fine hands in a vishnu mudra and we're going to block left right nostril now we're going to inhale and exhale through left left and left only and other hands can be in a vayu mudra or dhyan mudra either way is fine Okay, conclude when you breathe out from left. Apre intentionally apre shitli shitkari pranayama amna amna the nathi karta karke you know benefit amto gana hoy par main je chhe moto benefit ye shreer ne ekdam cool down karwan hoy je apre already temperature down thei gyu tyarthi pasi apre shitli shitkari nathi karta. Ah, uh, we'll do brahmari pranayama hand in sanmukhi mudra. You can use the thumb tip to block the ear canal and all other fingers, we can place them over the face wherever they can comfortably place, but we can use the third finger, uh, ring finger on the nostril. We'll do three times.
And next we'll do Anulam Vilam Pranayama, Nade Shuddhi Pranayama. Hands in Vishnu Mudra will start from left and we will end when we exhale out from left. So inhale from left, exhale from right, inhale from right, exhale from left. So left to right, right to left. We can chant Gayatri Mantra or any other mantra if you know. And if you don't know, if you it just doesn't need to be, you can just breathe in out just in alternate breathing fashion. Complete when you breathe out from left, complete the mantra. So, um, group of post Mukiti Pramane, Auti Kalno Shashan Apudu, half yoga podist marshe, and a half Bharat by Satya discussion marshe, and a discussion Badu Apudu, mind, life related as Shibudu. Um, so, he have done lots of courses and lots of experience. He is motivational speaker as well, so we can take maximum benefit. So think about if you guys have any, any questions, as time permits, you guys can ask questions too. Um, we will have a chance to ask questions. And then let's say, but that will be tomorrow. So the people tomorrow have parallel other session or other activities, maybe you have choice, you can welcome to to join the session. I know some people normally on Sunday are probably not able to join over here because of the parallel, but tomorrow's session, you have choice. So you can come join this session, it's up to you. This will be half and half as I explained in the group. Okay, we'll uh, close the eyes. Oh yeah. Recording we can repeat it. Her recording session, we try uh, not to have him list the things that we're going to write down and those kind of things. We will save time on that because we will have recording. Even if you know, we have recording today as well. If you want to refer what you heard today. Okay. So uh, let's close the eyes and we'll complete the session with our closing process. We'll chant three Mahamrutanja Mantra altogether followed by minute of meditation. During meditation, keep awareness on Sahasrara Chakra, crown of the head. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Purvarukameva Bandhana Dhrutyur Mukshiyamabhuta Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhana Nrutyur Mukshi Yamamuta Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhana Nrutyur Mukshi Yamamuta
。あああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああサルウェイ、サントニーラー、マヤー、サルウェイ、バトラーニ、パシャント、マーカスチー、ドゥカバー、パウェイ、オンシャンティシャンティシャンティーアリオン、ジェシクロシナン、ラブダパンス。And cover the face with the hands, feel the warm, massage the eyelids, open and close the palm,、uh, eyes under palms. Slowly open the eyes and you slide down the hands. So, before we go on, you、um, to Rajivai no peace. ડિસાઈડ <laughs> Okay. Okay, thank you, Bakul Bhai. All right, Bakul Ji. Yes, yes, yes. Bye, everybody, and see you. Hopefully, see you more people tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. Instead of, instead of thank you, say Jai Sri Krishna. Jai Sri Krishna. Krishna. <laughs> That would be much better. તમે મને કથા નું બે વીક પેલા કથા નું કઈ ભૂલ કરી ને જો હવે બકુલભાઈ જય શ્રી કૃષ્ણ જય શ્રી કૃષ્ણ ભૂલી દેવાય રામદેવ બની ડેન્જર છે એવું ને એમાં એવું શું હોય કે કોઈ નો અવાજ મીઠો સારો હોય બરાબર છે બકુલભાઈ નો અવાજ છે ને ઉગ્રાણી થોડા ગુજરા લાગો છે તમે મારે હવારે પાસપોર્ટ ગોતવું પડ્યો લે મેલ થઈ ગઈ મેં કીધું કઈક જોયેલું એવું લાગે છે મેં 
કાંતિ કાંતિ શા લોઢી નીકળી ગયો હા કિરીટભાઈ કઈક બોલતા તમે આપણે ખોટો ટાઈમ ક્યાંય આપણે પછી ઓફલાઈન વાત કરશું આપડે વાત કરીએ પછી ઓકે ચાલો દર્શન ને પછી આવવું પડશે દર મહિના મારે